I'd love to talk about some of the tools that we have available to you as a trader right at your fingertips. And that's through our account dashboard here. Risk settings is the most important one and that's what I'm gonna get into first. So you can get to this by clicking settings and then the home screen is going to take you to accounts and you'll hit risk settings. This will allow you to set a profit target or a loss limit for the day or for the week. When that gets breached, it will close your positions, it'll cancel all of your orders, so it'll essentially shut down your account for the trading session or for the remainder of the week. Right here we have the loss limit, I have it set to $250. What'll happen is at any time between now and the close of the trading session today, if my account incurs losses of $250, now I can go in and change this at any time. Let's say I even want to be a little bit more conservative today. It's Friday, I want to ensure a profit of some kind or at least set this target to a lower amount so that I can kind of get out and not be quite as aggressive. I can set that to 150 to save it and then it's in my account that way. The same is true for these weekly loss limits and profit triggers so we can set a weekly profit trigger of 500 save it once that gets breached your account is going to be deactivated until basically sunday night at 5 p.m couple things to note about this though notice down here we have this lock risk settings if trading locked this will completely lock you out. If you don't have this check, you can go back in and change this so you could maybe raise your profit target if you want to get back into the market. Whereas if you have this lock risk settings if trading locked, there's no way to get out. Even if you were to call us, our stance is that you set up these limits in a sober and sane state of mind, you lock them, and we wanna honor that. Another thing to note here is this. We see how we have zero here. That's automatically going to close out all of your positions and not allow you to place additional positions because you've technically hit that loss limit of zero. It's awesome. These are things that you can go in at night when you're not trading, just anytime. So you don't have to haul in or talk to anybody. It's just a way to better manage the psychology of your trading. So this end of day trailing max drawdown is not as serious. However, this real time trailing max drawdown, this is for the life of your account. So another thing that I see traders get into a little bit of hot water in is because they'll maybe put 400 bucks in here. If their account draws down $400, it locks the account. So they would need to contact us. We would remove this for them and explain. But again, this is for the life of your account. It shuts it down if it gets hit. So be sure to put a number here that you're comfortable with just for that reason. Right next to the risk settings, this modify balance. This unfortunately is only available for demo accounts. We're not able to just add money to our live accounts, but right now I have about $1,000 in my SIM account here. Let's say I wanted to make this match what I have in my account. Say I only have $500. I could go in here, put a negative sign, 500, hit submit, and that's going to get my demo account balanced to $500. So one thing that I've noticed over the years as a Ninja Trader user is that these demo accounts, they'll come with a hundred grand in them sometimes, or I think ours come now with 50,000. That's not what I'd be putting into a trading account. And it leads to me doing crazy things like having a 20 lot of the ES that I'm holding for a long period of time. And it's just not realistic. And if you want to raise it, you just enter the numbers as they are. So I want to hop over to our web trading platform to show you another set of tools here that can help you manage your trading and that maybe fly under the radar. First of which are these close buttons here. You can see I have a dome, I have a chart. Both of them have a button here that says close. As long as you're focused on one specific instrument, this is an easy way to just exit everything. So close your position, cancel all working orders. One thing that I've noticed when customers will maybe have an ATM order or a bracket order, they'll be long in that and they'll have a sell stop and a sell limit order working. They'll exit the position by placing a market order to sell and then that will leave that limit and stop order working and the customer might not be aware of that. I always say that it is worth using this close button instead of just placing an order to buy or sell to exit a position when you have a bracket order. Again, that will close your position. It'll also cancel those working orders so that you're not going to be in a situation where you have orders working that you're not aware of and that could lead to losses that you don't expect. And unfortunately, there's not much we can do as a brokerage to have you recoup those losses. I'm gonna demonstrate it now in action. I'm gonna put an ATM on here, then I'm gonna buy market. We're in, I've got these orders working. So I'm down five bucks, 375. I say, you know what? This isn't the trade I wanna make. Instead of hitting sell market, you wanna hit close. 
So do you see my brackets disappeared because those orders got canceled and now I'm flat. So clicking that close button is going to be a safer way to exit positions because it ensures that you have those orders canceled and that way they won't get filled and be in your account unprotected. One very important thing to note about this feature though is that this close button is only going to apply to positions and orders in this specific instrument. So if I were to have some MNQ positions and orders working and I hit this close button in an MES module, it's only going to impact the MES. If you're trading multiple instruments and you want to do something that completely shuts everything down for all instruments across your account, there is an option for that. And it's a little bit buried. We'll go up here where I have my account number, click on this, and there's a big red button that says flatten everything. So this way, if I've got MNQ, MES, limit order working on the Russell, just stuff across the board, I can hit flatten everything. It says I have no working orders, but you can hit that and it will wipe out everything in your account. Here's another thing in this exact same menu. Does this flatten today? I'm sure if you're an active Ninja Trader brokerage customer, you might have learned that we expect you to be out of your positions at 3.45 p.m. Central every day if you don't have the full margin requirement. And you might not always notice that it's 3.45 p.m. You might be watching a trade really locked into that and you might lose track of the time. And we have a way for you to set it up. So for example, I'm gonna just do 3.44 p.m. Hit submit here. Once this time hits, everything gets shut down so all of my positions all of my orders everything is done and that way I won't be at risk of having that uh, margin violation once 345 hits and I won't have to think about it one thing that I do in my real life is I set a lot of timers I've learned the hard way by not doing it so if there's ever anything like if I'm making food or cooking or something and I need to step away from the kitchen I'll always set a timer just to get me back there because so many times I'll walk away and then it's two hours later and whatever I had is ruined you can set this up and then you can forget about it for the rest of the day and not be at risk of having that margin violation. And this will work for all of your platforms. Doesn't matter if you place some orders on the website or have a position that you entered on NinjaTrader Desktop, this will be global for your account. Let me kind of go through a little bit about these orders and positions modules that I have here. It's kind of, again, just safe trading protocol, but in your web platform, there's this plus sign here, and this is where you can grab various different modules. So there's orders, there's positions. It's definitely worth considering having both of those really accessible to you. Why this is important is because an order is different than a position, and it's easy to think that I have no positions right now, I'm flat, I'm not seeing any movement in my profit and loss, I show a zero here next to position. It's easy to think that it's safe to to close out the platform and walk away from your trading for the day. However, when you have working orders and you're not aware of them, they're at risk of being filled. And so by having this orders and positions accessible to you, you can pull up all of your orders and you can make sure none of them are working. And so before you close out the platform, if you want even an additional layer of security after hitting that flatten everything or that close button on a dome or a chart window, you can come here, you can see your orders, make sure you have nothing working, you can see your positions, and you can see that they're closed. This net position is going to show you whether you're long or short, and if you have zeros there, you're flat. So it's always good to take a look at these because again, just having no positions doesn't mean that there is no potential for additional profit or losses on your account. You can have zero positions, but maybe have a straggler order on one of these instruments. You walk away, a few hours later, that order gets filled. You know, our trade desk, we don't think like, oh, well, maybe Ed didn't want to have this order working. We're going to cancel it. We take everyone at their word. If they submit an order, we understand that them to have wanted that order to be there so it gets filled. And if somebody incurs a loss on that, there's nothing we can do. So that's something you really want to avoid. I have yet to hear somebody say I made a thousand dollars on a trade that I didn't enter in my account. How can I get that back to you? Uh... <laughs> the key is that it, we're not trading against them, right? They're trading against somewhere else in the world. So it's not our money to give to you or take back from you. So, and again, what's funny is that I often hear people say, well, making mistakes is part of paying your dues to become a trader. I don't agree with that. I mean, let's avoid those mistakes and let's not lose any money on a mistake that's easily avoidable. Totally agree. You can spend it in much better ways than learning your lesson. Mike, you're exactly right. Like we want all of our traders to be as successful as possible. If you lose on a trade, or make money on a trade, it has no bearing on us. Super important to keep in mind that you're trading on an exchange, not against NinjaTrader. This presentation is for educational purposes only. 
All of the symbols, trading ideas, and live trading are for demonstrational purposes and are not recommendations or trading advice. Past performance may not be indicative of future results. All of the information and opinions expressed by third-party guests are their own and are not necessarily those of NinjaTrader, LLC. Trading futures involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for everyone, and trading futures can result in losses greater than the initial required margin. Traders should only trade futures with risk capital. Risk capital is money that you can afford to lose without jeopardizing your financial security or current lifestyle. You can find additional disclosure information on the NinjaTrader website.